Hi everyone, I'm Taylor Hudak with Activism Munich. April 5th, 2020 marks the 10 year anniversary of WikiLeaks publication of the collateral murder video. This video depicts airstrikes from Apache helicopters in New Baghdad, Iraq in 2007. 11 people were killed as a result of this attack, including civilians, even children, as well as two Reuters journalists. Take a look. In a special online event hosted by the Don't Extradite Assange campaign and moderated by former U.S. Colonel and peace activist Ann Wright, WikiLeaks editor-in-chief Christian Raffensen and essayist and columnist Nozomi Hayisi joined together to discuss one of WikiLeaks' most infamous publications and its impact on the world. Raffensen describes his experience investigating collateral murder. In 2010, he says that it was believed that the war was over and that the war had been one. However, after looking at the data and analyzing this data, he found that this was clearly not the case. Prior to publication, Raffensen visited Baghdad and learned that this region was known as a residential area and was not known to be a war zone and that many of the locals there considered it a place they called home. Now, once the collateral murder video was released, the U.S. military did respond, saying that it only provided a partial picture of what took place and that the soldiers' behavior did fall within the rules of engagement. However, WikiLeaks proved the U.S. military wrong with the publication of the Iraq war logs in October of 2010. The Iraq war logs contained thousands of documents proving that many people were dying in Iraq, including civilians. At this point, it became clear that collateral murder was not an isolated incident, but a frequent occurrence. When reflecting back on this publication, Raffensen had this to say. What the collateral murder video has done, in my opinion, is to firmly place that imagery of uh, in, the, in the millions of people uh, who have seen that video and will always be there. It has become uh, uh, iconic in a sense. Uh, it has now been uh, an, an instrument that uh, ev everybody will think of when they think about the Iraq war or the Iraq invasion, rather. So it has uh, had a tremendous impact, and it will, it will have an impact uh, in, in the years to come. Uh, I believe that uh, in, the, uh, in the future, uh, this imagery, which is not exceptional, it is, it tells a bigger story about what happened in Iraq. It is symbolic. It defines basically the way that people will view the Iraq war. Nozomi Hayisi shared a similar sentiment when describing this moment in history, saying that it triggered a very public debate about the war in Iraq. Furthermore, these publications revealed the roots to many of the problems in the West, and specifically the imperial mindset. It was whistleblower Chelsea Manning who revealed this information to WikiLeaks, therefore allowing for the opportunity for real change to ensue. Nozomi says that Manning's courage and ability to not succumb to U.S. military indoctrination is what allowed her to view these individuals harmed in this video as human beings and not enemies. But the real change that came from ordinary person like Chelsea Manning, her heart and her courage and conscience to stand up for what is right. And it's really awakened our sense of humanity. And it's, it's what happened this day, 10 years ago, it's unleashed the power of free speech. It's worth acknowledging that the collateral murder video leaked by Chelsea Manning to WikiLeaks is one of the publications that Julian Assange is being charged under the Espionage Act by the U.S. government. As for WikiLeaks editor-in-chief Christian Raffensen said the publication has and will continue to publish leaks, but that the focus at this time is to get Julian Assange out of prison. Raffensen also urged U.S. and U.K. citizens to call upon their politicians to free Assange. 
An international solidarity event for Julian Assange will be held by the DEA campaign on April 11th at 5.30 p.m. GMT and 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. This event is online and you do need to pre-register. So for additional information, do follow the campaign on Twitter at DEA campaign and visit the website don'textraditeassange.com. Thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you do subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name is Taylor Hudak with Activism Munich, and I will see you all next time.